Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning. God is good and his loyal love is everlasting. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I want to welcome and hear this morning to our uh, service. We appreciate God's giving us this platform to be able to, to declare the gospel, the good news, and we're just thankful. We're thankful for everything that God is doing in our lives, and I continue to solicit your prayers, and I continue to pray for you and loved ones, and Keep on holding to God's unchanging hand. I certainly hope you get some out of this word this morning. There's so much in the scripture. Uh, we can never exhaust God's word. And, and when you read the scripture, it almost seems like uh, God's giving you uh, fresh, fresh illumination and revelation and inspiration with his word. So we're, we're excited. And, and um, again, uh, you know, you're getting up this morning, you're sitting down and you have your Bibles open. Be ashamed not to get something out of it. So I just... Uh, Hope you get something out of this word today. I'm very excited about what God has given to me to give to you. Prayer is certainly absolutely the order of the day. Let's just go before the word in prayer, giving, giving God glory for his sovereign, magnificent name and taking over this clay tongue in Yeshua's name. Heads bowed, please. Barukatai Adonai Elohenu Malaka Halom. You're blessed, the Lord God, because you're sovereign. You're king of the universe. You're magnificent. You're potentate of potentate. Hallelujah. You're sovereign monarch ruler. You're Echad. You're one. Hallelujah. El Shaddai. Hallelujah. You're Elohim. You're yod heh vav -Hey. You're Adonai. You're Yeshua HaMashiach. You're Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We say thank you. Thank you for the word today, Lord. We know it's already been sanctified from your throne room. Take over this clay tongue. It's for your glory. You've called some of us, glory to God, in these last days, your Trojan horses that are not ashamed of the gospel, the euangelion, the death, burial, and resurrection, the soon coming of our king, your ascension, glory to God. We say thank you, Father. We say thank you. Thank you for the word today, glory to God. Let it large in the hearts of people and let it share with one another, glory to God. How do we live in these last and evil days? But we thank you. We praise you. We glorify your name. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. As uh, Bishop Queen would always say, Are you ready for the word this morning? If anyone ever asked you, what, what is Pastor Wally's favorite scripture, a favorite psalm. It's good to know. I certainly knew uh, Bishop Queen's favorite psalm was Psalms 27. Mine is Psalms 91. And I'm going to read a portion of God's word in Psalms 91. It's something that I recite every day. It's part of how I start my day in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. So if, if you may, Open up your Bibles to Psalms 91. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Psalms 91. It's interesting when we, we read Psalms 91. It's a, the refuge of a secret place. And we look at this Hebrew word for refuge. It's machke. It's... It literally means hope, it means trust. He's a fortress, he's a masada, he's a fortress. He's got us fenced in, hallelujah. He's our shield. 63 times in the Bible, the Lord said he's our shield. It's magan, amen, hallelujah. He's our hiding place, it's mistor, it's setur, it's the Hebrew word. It's, it's a place of safety. It's, you feel security. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, Psalms 91, it, it, it's, we'll read it in a moment, but it, it reminds us we're, we're not alone. Not even in the midst of all challenges and problems that we face, he's our protector. It's commonly invoked in times of hardship. When life seems draining. Seems like there's no time for a, a place to rest, but glory to God, thank you for this word, hallelujah. It's, 
It's reassuring to me, amen. It's comfort to me, amen. And it's encouraging to me. Psalms 91. Let's see what the Bible says. In the name of Yeshua. For the Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord yod heh vav -Hey, he's, he's my refuge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's, he's my hope. Uh -huh. he, he, I trust in him. Hallelujah. He's my fortress. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. He's my masada. He's my fortress. He's my Elohim. And him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth, here it is, shall be thy shield and buckler. He's our magan, he's our buckler, he's our shield. Hallelujah. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. For the pestilence that walketh in darkness, for the destruction that lay waste at noonday. We see that all around us today, destruction seems everywhere. Hallelujah. Hmm. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come by thee. Only with thy eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, yod heh vav -Hey, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. For the Bible says, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come thy dwelling. Hallelujah. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash the foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adler. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Oh, hallelujah. Mighty God is he. Hallelujah. Because he has set his love upon me. I will deliver him. He says, I need. I, I, I. That's first person singular. He says, I need. I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. Thank you for your name, Lord. Your name is efficacious. Just like your blood is, hallelujah. Your name is above every name, hallelujah. hallelujah. Your name is sovereign, hallelujah. He will call upon me and I'll answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy and show him my salvation. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. My title for this morning is this. The Refuge. Of the secret place. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah. He's my secret place. Hallelujah. He's my shelter. He's my hiding place. I said this last week. My, the Lord uh, gave my wife a, a dream. And that all the things that are going around in the world. And coming against us. Hallelujah. And God made it personal coming against the family and things we're dealing with and because we're all dealing with something. He says, I got you in a bubble. And glory to God, like he's surrounding us like a shield. And I'm reminded of Noah in that ark. He said, pitch within, pitch without, and glory to God, hallelujah. And eight souls were saved during the deluge. And, and he's got us, I believe, Lord has us in the realm of the spirit. He's got us fenced in. The host of heaven surrounding us like a shield. Glory to God. It's good to have privileges as a saint of God. Amen. And it's good to be born of the water and of the spirit. It's good to have embraced the new birth and this wonderful great salvation. It's awesome. Hallelujah. That when you get baptized in his name and the name that's above every name. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, for remission of sins. And you receive the Doria, the gift of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God, how that you've been sealed to the day of redemption. Glory to God, he's my hiding place. And I can hide myself in prayer. Hallelujah. I can, I can, I can go on my knees and, and start speaking in 
The heavenly language he's given me. He by the road shut that the cold. And glory to God, hallelujah. And, and, and he knows my every, everything that's going on. How I can trust in him. I can call on his name. Believe on his name. Walk in his name. Have faith in his name. How to the victory in his name. Hallelujah. I will trust in his name. Hallelujah. He's my protector. He's my deliverer. He's my Elohim. I put all my chips in his name. Glory to God. How do I seek refuge in his name? Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Psalms 91. Though there's no author that's mentioned uh, in the Hebrew text of this psalm, Jewish tradition, glory to God, hallelujah, ascribes to it to Moses. Moses wrote the previous Psalms 90. With David compiling it in the book of Psalms, the, the Septuagint translation attributed to David. When I speak of the Septuagint, it's, it's the Greek version of the Hebrew Bible in the Old Testament. It was made for, for Greek-speaking Jews who lived in Africa. Yes, they lived in Egypt. Uh, during the second and third centuries, they lived in Kemet. Hebrew is Mitzrayim, and the original name for Egypt is Kemet. It means the dark land. It was a black people. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Genesis 10 and 6 talks about the table of nations and Mitzrayim, the sons of Cam and Kem, which were black people. Glory to God. The secret place, of the Most High. Hallelujah. We're reading the book of Psalms, like any poetry, it is very essential. It's vital. It's imperative. It's important to visualize the image being depicted particularly as it pertains to Elohim. Now to do this with pinpoint accuracy, oh hallelujah, it's important to pay careful attention to three literary devices. Glory to God. I think I got something new for you if you don't know anything about this. Number one is personification. Glory to God. Second is anthropomorphism. And third is zoomorphism. Personification is when human characteristics are used to create imagery for something non human so the idea or concept may be better and understood. As an example, personification is justice is blind. Anthropomorphism is when something non-human or not a full human being is described as behaving as if it were human. For example, the phrase, listen to your heart, is anthropomorphic. Finally, zoomorism is when an animal's characteristics are used to describe an object, a person, a deity. An example of this is how God may hide the believer, glory to God, in his wings. Remember Psalms 91, in his wings, glory in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. The book of Psalms uses all three literary devices often. Therefore, readers must be aware of these three concepts to appropriately understand the book of Psalms. Glory to God, hallelujah. For example, Psalms 91 one says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide on the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. God is, Elohim is an invisible spirit. For the Bible says this in Colossians. Go to Colossians, please. Chapter, what do I want? Colossians 1 and 15. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Here's what the Bible says in Colossians 1 15. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Let's go to the gospel. John chapter number 4. 
says this in verse number 24. For Elohim is a spirit. This is Yeshua speaking. They that worship him must worship him in what? Spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. The idea readers should, you and I should be attentive is to, is the, is hidden in the personified language. See, it's good. That's why we sat on the bishop all those years, but he was a master scholar in, in the languages, in the Hebrew and the Greek. But, but he, says, he says, I always understand the grammar. It's good to know your verbs. It's good to know your conjunctions. It's good to know your pronouns and your nouns and your adjectives. It's good to study and show yourself approved, to be able to rightly divide the word of God. Hallelujah. Believers should live our lives in a position of being under Elohim. Hallelujah. This, is, this part of the psalmist's life was hidden from others because it was a sacred place mm -hmm, where the psalmist received restoration and hope. You got to find a place in your home somewhere that you can get on your knees or lay prostrate before God and, and get some hope and get some rest and revitalization. Hallelujah. Because we're always dealing with all kind of stuff every day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's good to get before God and, and give him glory. Hallelujah. It's good to, to say, Toda, Ata, Yeshua. Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. It's good to, to give him praise and thanksgiving. Come before his courts with praise and thanksgiving. And hallelujah. It's, it's good to give him praise and thanksgiving and, 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 and petition and, and glory to God. All these things. Hallelujah. Have a fellowship with him. We have a, a Greek word called Konania with him. He's our Goel. Hallelujah. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. See, when we fully understand what the psalmist is saying, this demonstrates this great need we have for this secret place in our lives that we can have absolute fellowship with Almighty Elohim. And I say, Mighty God is here. Listen, and don't be so quick to get up. Let me tell you something. When you go before God, hallelujah, first of all, just you want to just spend most of your time just say, Lord, thank you. Praising him. Glorifying his name. It's good practice because when we get back home to glory, that's what we're going to be doing. Hallelujah. Uh, you, you know, I, we're talking, we can praise him and when we're on a mountaintop, praise him when we're in a valley situation, praise him when situations are going on. We say, Lord, Lord we just thank you. We praise you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. He's our shelter. Hallelujah. He's my shade. He, it's, it's almost like being under a tent. Amen. Hallelujah. It's makhe. It's a Hebrew word. He's my shelter. See, the psalmist used, used buildings to personify the protective qualities of God. Hallelujah. He, 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 uh, glory to God. Psalms, this, this wonderful Psalms 91 is spent assuring the you and I, the individual, today is still in vogue today. Glory to God. The God will protect us from all harm and danger. Words such as refuge. Hallelujah. Shelter. Masada. Magan. Shield. Fortress. Habitation. Are used, although these words are not identical, they all, glory, they are all places a person wants to live. I don't know about you, I want to be in the secret place of the Most High. I want to, uh, glory, dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. He's my rock, he's my shield, he's, he's my strong tower, he's my buckler. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. This is a place that you want to live. Hallelujah. Don't even peep out, as Bishop Swansea would say. Hallelujah. Stay under the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. Don't even have an earlobe sticking out. Don't even flirt with sin. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stay all the way in under the shadow of the armor. Don't be a target for the adversary. All he's looking is for a crack in your armor. What does my wife? She said, put on the whole armor of Elohim. Hallelujah. Sword of the Spirit. The word of God, hallelujah. Thank you for your word. Your Bible is your glory. We don't fight against flesh and blood. It's your Bible, these 66 lights. 
hallelujah. We don't fight, hallelujah, in, in the flesh. We fight in the realm of the spirit. We speak God's word. We find logos, written word. It becomes rhema. We speak it on every situation. In our, there's nothing new under the sun. Whatever you need is in your Bible. Glory to God. Whatever situation you're going through is in your Bible. Glory to God. How do, see, the Bible says, be still and know that I am Elohim. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's our hiding place. The idea of God being compared to a hiding place or as one who hides the believer. See, we get privileges. Everyone that says, Lord, Lord, is not really a believer. When I say believer, I'm talking about glory to God. You, you've received the gift, this wonderful plan of salvation that you've embraced it. Let me be very crystal clear. You've been water baptized in Jesus' name, Yeshua's name. You've received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And if you haven't, you can get it today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got privileges. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. All these hiding places can be found in, in the Bible. Let's go to Psalm 17. Psalm 17 says this. Hallelujah. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Psalm 17 in verse number 8 says this. Keep me as the apple of thy eye. Hide me under the shadow of your ring. Psalms 27, 27, 5 says this. Hallelujah. This is David is absolutely confident in God's power. Glory to God. For the Bible says this in Psalms 27 and 5. For in a time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. It's like a tent. In the secret of his tabernacle, he shall, he shall hide me. He will set me upon a rock. That's good news. Hiding is associated with the desire of protection and safety. Glory to God. See, the psalmist made, there's a word called e e evocative. It's, 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 it means a strong image, strong memories, feelings. Glory to God. It's, it's powerful, but the psalmist, glory to God, gives this evocative point that it's good for believers to seek God in times of trouble and uncertainty. The idea of, of hiding. Oh, hallelujah. Psalms 91 personifies traditional feminine qualities to make his point. Stay with me now. Psalms 94.4 says this. The author used, remember these three words I gave you, but this one is zoo, morphism, by giving God wings, by giving God wings and showing how those wings, they symbolize Shelter. Glory to God. This is the shelter a mother bird how provides for her young. The mother bird uses her wings to shelter the, these young birds, these young chicks from the elements and certainly from predators. Number two, the name of God translated almighty in Hebrew tongue is El Shaddai. Hallelujah. One possible interpretation means breast. It's good to know the language. It embodies the nurturance and the intimacy presented in cradling and, and breastfeeding. Hey Amen. The feminine image of God as a nurturer and a mother bird is key in the Psalms. Hallelujah. Elohim is the protector and provider and physical and emotional safety for an individual seeking protection. Glory to God. Remember, God, he's an invisible spirit. Adam and Eve were gendered beings, yet both were equally made in the image of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Adam was not a mere precise expression of God's image, nor was Eve. God gave them gendered expressions because the traits of both genders are fully expressed by God. The whole image of God is demonstrated through the combined expression of men and women. He says, he says, I'm going to hide myself 
in the Lord through prayer. It's important to pray. It's essential to pray. For the Bible says this, Psalms 27 and 1. The Lord is my light. He's my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength. In my life, who shall I be afraid? The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He make me to lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside still waters. Here it is, he restored my soul. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Lord, thank you for your name. Your name is above every name. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess your sovereign, magnificent name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Demons tremble at your name. There's power in your name. Glory to God. There's victory in your name. There's salvation in your name. There's healing in your name. There's restoration in your name. There's deliverance in your name. There's eternal life in your name. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. For the Bible says this. Because, and this is, this is where you got to put your name in it. He says this in verse 14 and 15. This is where it gets personal. That's what I love Psalms 91. I make it personal. Because he has set his love upon me. Put your name right there. Therefore, he says this, and again, he says, I need. It's a Hebrew word for I. He says it in the first person singular. He says, he says, I need. I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me. He says, I need. I will answer him. He says, I need. I will be with him in trouble. He says, I need. I will deliver him. And honor him with long life will I satisfy and show him my salvation. That is personal. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Not only did the psalmist describe how God protects, but the psalmist also featured God pledging himself to protection and deliverance to those who trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. I trust in God. Every day, sometime, it just a thought pops in my head and I go down Memory lane. I look back 10 years ago, 15 years ago, last year, six months ago, last week, and I just go down memory lane what God has done, how he's faithful, how he whispered in my ear many, many, many years ago, audibly he said, I'll never leave you. Call me by my name. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. You can trust in his name. Believe in his name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In many different times, many different ways, God has always pledged. He pledges his faithfulness to us. Hallelujah. And we thank God that his loyal love is what? Everlasting. Hallelujah. However, the most significant way We can experience God's faithfulness is through Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. John 14, 6 says this. That's what the Bible says. John 14 and 6 says this. Hallelujah. Yeshua said unto him. Hallelujah. He says, I need. He says, I. I am the way. The truth and the life, Zoe, life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Yes. Glory to God. It's not through the Buddhist, Hinduist, Islam, secular humanist. Glory to God. No man. It's only through Yeshua, Jesus Christ's name. For the Bible says this in Acts chapter number four. Verse number 12 says this. Oh, glory. Acts 4, verse number 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. 
For there is another name under heaven given among men where we must be saved. That's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. It's only through the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, that you can be saved. Glory to God. So many people are going into eternity without that magnificent name called on them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. At this very moment, thousands and thousands are going into eternity. That's why it's our job, glory to God, hallelujah, to preach this gospel. Glory to God. Every week, week in, week out, glory to God. I don't have any new, you know, new material. I just say what the Bible says. And glory to God, how, how you must be born of water and of spirit. Glory to God, how you can dwell in that secret place. All through the Bible, through Genesis to Revelation, it's still in vogue today. It's still powerful today. It's still efficacious today. You can still glean on this word today. Glory to God. I will trust in yod heh vav -He. Hallelujah. He's a promise keeper, folks. Folks, the things that we were praying on as a family for the last several years. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In God's perfect timing, he brought to fruition. Glory to God. Things that you're praying for right now. Hallelujah. You're so close. You could be literally at the door right now to receive that blessing. Don't quit. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Right when you're at the finish line. Glory to God. That's when the enemy's fighting you is, is tooth and nail. Glory to God. But greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And he always causes me to triumph. Keep holding on to God's unchanging hand. He's got something for you that I heard a word today that glory to God, you are, you are right there. You're, you're about to be blessed beyond measure in your life what you've been asking God for and you know what you've been praying for. Amen. Hallelujah. It's coming to fruition. Thank you. You can trust in his name. Glory to God. Think about this. You're sitting in the chair right now. Hallelujah. You're trusting in the visible chair enough to physically sit upon it, glory to God. It's a very concrete idea. Handing over the entire lives to an invisible God, glory to God, is quite a bit more abstract. I read a story this week. Never knew anything about this. It was a popular hymn. I've heard, this, I've heard the, the hymn, It's Well With My Soul. We, we, we know that. But it was written by a person by the name of Horatio, Spatford. In 1873, he planned this trip, a travel to Europe with his family, but he had business, was not able to join them on their trip. Tragically, the ship, he had his wife, he had four daughters, traveled, it collided with another ship, and it sunk. Only Spatford's wife, Anna, she was saved. He traveled to Europe, he joined his grieving wife. While passing by the spot where his daughters had drowned, he wrote these words. When peace, like a river, attended my way, when sorrows, like sea billows, roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well. It is well with my soul. Somehow, Spatford trusts and Elohim granted him resiliency that allowed him to continue living despite despair his life had become. Only true faith. And we know the Bible says faith is what? The substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. The Bible says he gives every man a measure of faith. Glory to God. Only true faith rather than mere intellectual ascent can do such amazing things. When my dad went home to be with the Lord, I was devastated. Still think of him today, but I know he's in glory, glory to God. But the Bible is clear. I can go to 1 Thessalonians, let's go there, and say this with confidence. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. We all got loved ones that have gone on, and we hurt. We sorrow. But the Bible says this. This is comfort for you and I, for saints who have died. But I would not have you be ignorant. 
brethren concerning them which are asleep. Oh, hallelujah. That you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. See, the world doesn't have no hope, but we got hope. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. One of our church mothers, Mother Rebecca, went home to be with the Lord. Glory to God. We, we cry, we sorrow, but glory to God, we rejoice because she's in glory. She finished well. Job well done, good and faithful servant. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Again, God is our refuge. Say it. Say it. God is my refuge. He's my hope. I trust in him. See, in the Old Testament, God instituted six cities of refuge that, that would function as an asylum for unintentional murderers. An unintentional murderer is, is comparable to manslaughter today in many if today modern legal circles, systems. God provided these cities because he was concerned about protecting these individuals. The, the honor and shame culture at that time that dominated the ancient time, the, the Near East, it dictated that avenging a, a fallen family member was a matter of honor. Mm -hmm. Leaving the murder unavenged was considered shameful. The concept of cities of refuge in, in the Bible and Scripture would remind readers that God is concerned about us and will provide a place of refuge. We can experience protection and deliverance. All through this last few years and the whole pandemic and, and the country and the world and shutting down and the wars that are going on and the mass shootings that are going on and hunger that's going on and glory, all these things, glory, living in the last days and the world is just waxing colder and colder and people don't like one another and because of the color of your skin and the left and the right and this and that, glory to God, Elohim is still our protector. The Bible already told us this in the synoptic gospels in the last days. Nations, there's a Greek word called ethnos, which translated ethnic. Nations against nations. Here in this country, it's a divided country. We're seeing that play out right now. But keep on looking up. Know that your redemption draweth nigh it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He, the Lord said, I've saved you from the wrath to come. Because it is coming. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Elohim is my protector. Perhaps the, the most incredible account of God's protection is Paul's arduous journey from Jerusalem to Rome. It's recorded in the book of Acts. You don't have to go there, but just for later on, it's, it's Acts chapter number 21. Elohim protected Paul from an angry Jewish mob, protected him from corrupt rulers. He was shipwrecked, snake bite, multiple, on top of multiple incarcerations. But Elohim's protection afforded Paul amazing opportunities to share the happy news, the good news. We call it the gospel. We call it the euangelion. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Paul returned to a, to a mob of radicalized Jews and, uh, of which he was formerly a member of. He was a Pharisee of Pharisees. Mm -hmm. He said it in the Gamaliel. Yeah, he was a Pharisee of Pharisee. Glory to God. But he was a former member there. But he presented the gospel in his conversion experience on the road to Damascus. Paul went before Felix. He was the Roman governor. He went before Festus, the procurator. Herod Agrippa, the king of Judah, who was installed by the Romans. Paul shared his conversion in the gospel with each of these three dignitaries. But God protected him from the Jews. He's our deliverer. We're living in last of the last days. No man knows the day or the hour when God's coming back. I'm not a day setter. We don't know. If they thought they were so close 2,000 years ago, the disciples, we got to be at the door right now. We're seeing things playing out in front of us. But know this. God is our deliverer. Glory to He said, I, He says, 1 Thessalonians 1 and 10, He said, I've saved you from the wrath to come. That's why it's our job, saints of God, to make sure 
that you got your calling and election sure. I talked about last week, when you travel abroad, you got to have a passport. You got to have identification. Make sure you got your passport stamped. Glory to heaven is going to be a marvelous place. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. Hell is a prepared place for unprepared people. And it's been enlarging every single day. Hmm. He's our deliverer. The Apostle Paul, mm -hmm. he even appealed to Caesar, Claudius Caesar. Paul was placed as a prisoner on a ship traveling to Rome. And after experiences this shipwreck, he had this miraculous protection on the island of Crete. Finally, Paul arrived in Rome. There he was placed on house arrest for 24 months. But during this time, he was able to share this wonderful gospel, the death, the burial, the resurrection, the ascension, our soon coming king, the Ewan Gelling with a great number of Romans. Glory to God. At this point, the book of Acts, it ends. However, tradition indicates that Paul was cleared by Claudius Caesar and may have traveled to Rome to share the gospel in Spain, where he stated in Romans chapter number 15, verse number 19, was his intention after visiting the church in Rome. If you ever go to Rome, it's, it's amazing. You, you see parts of uh, places uh, where um, there were Jewish settlers there, and, and it's just amazing. Uh, you see these places that uh, they, uh, they fellowship at and they lived in. They call them ghetto areas, but still there today. It's amazing. Paul's journey from Jerusalem to Rome from the center of the Jewish world to the heart of the Gentile world is a magnificent story of protection and deliverance. We all got a story about protection and deliverance. Some of us today shouldn't even be here today. But God has been so kind through his grace and mercy. And thank you for your blood, Lord, that you shed on Calvary. Your blood, your, 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 your hemoglobin is special. It's efficacious. The Bible says, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, Lord, we thank you for your deliverance. Hallelujah. And I say this, when we set out on a journey to make Yeshua known, that's, that's witnessing to the world, his spirit, ah, glory to God, the, we, the Ruah HaKadosh, the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, will help us every step of the way. His word is a lamp to our feet, what? It's a, it's a light to our pathway. Glory to God. And I always say this, Lord, go before us. Make every crooked place straight. Acknowledge him in all thy ways. Lean not to your own understanding. He will direct your path. Hallelujah. And I said, Lord, thank you. And I give you praise. And I give you glory. And I give you honor. Hallelujah. And one thing about Yeshua. He intentionally entered into the midst of all kinds of troubles. He did this through the incarnation. The author of Hebrews used the following opening statement to begin this particular epistle. In Hebrews chapter number one, he says this, after God spoke long ago in various portions and in, in various ways to our ancestors through the prophets, in these last days he has spoken to us in a son whom he has appointed heirs, all things and through whom he created the world. Instead of sending someone else to speak on his behalf, Elohim came to us in a son to model for us the type of intimate relationship God desires with us for all of us. Hallelujah. He did not come with only words to speak. Oh, hallelujah. But rather, Yeshua entered into our troubles by embracing the fragility of this life. Life is fragile. And fully experiencing the brokenness in this inherent world. For the Bible says this in Isaiah chapter number 63. Hallelujah. 63 and 5. Here's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. And I looked, and there was none to help. And I wondered, it was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation to men in my fury it upheld. Glory to God. This is spoken 700 years before Yeshua. Glory to God, hallelujah. We're living in a broken world, a fallen world. The first Adam put us in a very tough position. Everyone that's born comes in this world full of sin. But I say, Lord, thank you 
for the second Adam. You put death to death. Glory to God and I give you glory. Hallelujah. This is a daily thing, so saints. I'm going to quit in a minute, but this is, this is a daily walk. You got to seek him every single day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, 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 are, we are finite creatures. He's sovereign. He's omnipotent, omniscient. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But we as finite beings who need a time of rest to be restored by the Lord in the community of faith. There's a word called zakah. It means to remember. We've got to remember that the institution of the Sabbath, today's Sunday, is rooted in the very beginning before the fall. God found it necessary to rest on the seventh day of creation and extend it to the rest of all creation. Oh, hallelujah. If God felt, think about this, just, just ponder this for a moment. If God felt human beings needed a Sabbath day before the fall, how much more essential than is a time of Sabbath after the fall? Therefore, we got to seek, hallelujah, refuge in the Lord. Glory to God, hallelujah. Get quiet before God. Get in that secret place. We, we must be honest about our limitations and learn at what point our reach begins to exceed our grasp. Hallelujah. He has shot that goal. We, we, we must seek a daily time to connect with God, who is our source. He's my only source. He's my everything. He's my hope. He's my strength. He's my goel. He's my nearest of kin. Hallelujah. Seeking refuge hallelujah, should not be a parachute we use in an emergency. Rather, it should be dependable, unpredictable, discipline in our lives. Just like eating and sleeping. It's a way of life. He's my everything. Let me put some flesh and bone on this as I, as I quit. Hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. It, 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 it's, it's significant to note this, that Yeshua, Jesus, he often used quiet time, solitude over people. He knew the importance of a place of refuge and intentionally sought time out of solace before God. Hmm. Despite how busy he was conducting ministry, we should take note of the example that Yeshua provided for us and try to daily incorporate his practices in our lives. Case in point, after Yeshua was baptized, he spent, what, 40 days in prayer and fasting in the wilderness before launching his ministry. Yeshua, Jesus, withdrew to solitude and prayer in order to obtain guidance before making important decisions. Proverbs 3, 5 says what? Lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge God in all thy ways. Glory to God. Trust in him. He'll direct your path. Glory to God. Any important decision in your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. First and foremost, get on your knees. Touch and agree. Have it be your wife, with your children, another saint. Get on your knees. Glory to God. God will give you direction. Hallelujah. He'll answer you. He'll lead and guide you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So many people are making decisions in the secular world. Getting secular information. Fleshly information. Glory to God. I want to know what God says. He says, I, for I know the plans that I have towards you. Not to hurt us. But to give us hope and prosper us. Bless us. Glory to God. Check this out. Early in, in his ministry, Yeshua, he spent the whole night in prayer before choosing the 12 disciples. The next day, Yeshua sought solitary moments in prayer after just all day long ministry. He instructed the disciples to do the same. After leaving, learning of this, John the baptizer's death, Yeshua sought solitude during a time of bereavement. Just hours before being arrested, Yeshua sought a time of solitude and prayer with his disciples, who all went to sleep. In a time of distress, Yeshua sought a place of refuge. Finally, in the book of Luke, offered this, this editorial comment in the book of Luke regarding Yeshua's ministry. 
The Bible says this in Luke chapter number 5, verses 15 through 16. But so much the more went there a fame abroad of him. And a great multitude came together to hear, Shema, to hear, and to be healed by him in their infirmities. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. The demand for Yeshua grew, but Yeshua made a habit to frequently find solitary refuge where he could pray. This is, this is for us today. Glory to God. We're, we're living in such contentious times right now. you got to find a place to get some peace. you got to find a place, a refuge. you got to find a place to get restored and refreshed and glory to God. Hallelujah. Read your Bible. Put on the whole armor of God. Glory to God. The enemy is always trying to throw these fiery darts against us. But we got the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the breastplate of righteousness. Glory to God. Your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If anyone was too busy to pray, it was probably sure. Yet he was persistent in regular pattern of refuge, seeking God in prayer. Hallelujah. I'm following God. I'm mirroring what he did. Glory to God. I say this, when you get up in the morning, you open up your eyes, say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for starting me on my way. Go before me, Lord. Make every crooked place straight. Lord, thank you for your word. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your divine courage and protection over my family. Thank you for an economy to be able to provide for my family. Thank you for this ministry, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you to folks that are getting saved. Folks are getting baptized. Folks are receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful plan of salvation. Glory to God. And as you go through your day, glory to God, you're having a, your sandwich and glory to God, you just say, Lord, thank you. Before you close your eyes at night, Lord, thank you for today. Glory to God. Have a spirit of praise on your lips as you go through your day. Glory to God. When you start your day like that, not saying you're not going to have challenges, situations, but he makes, he makes things smoother. I believe that. I believe that. Glory to God. That's why, for me, when I start my day, I'm quoting Psalms 91. Every single morning of the day, I start my day quoting Psalms 91. What is the key to remember is this about prayer. Is that no one accidentally prays daily. Only by intentional effort we can make a daily ritual. By seeking refuge and praying. Yeshua had a great need for prayer. For his priorities were correctly attuned to the Father. Start your day with prayer. End your day with prayer. Glory to God. Say Todah Ata Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. See, prayer changes things. It shifts the atmosphere. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you pray in your heavenly language, Glory to Things are shifting in the atmosphere. The angelic host is moving on your behalf. He says, I'll give his angels charge of you to keep you in all thy ways. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As we continue to pray, what we thought was the most important may become less important. Likewise, what we believe was insignificant may become even a great burden. Ultimately, prayer brings about the same resolve in us that was expressed by John the baptizer. He says this. John 3 and 30 says this. He must increase. Hallelujah, but I must decrease. As our consciousness of God improves through prayer, how we see the world can shift radically. Mm -hmm. When this happens, we can take heart. Saints, take heart that we have begun to see the world not as we would have it, but rather as God perceives it. With this new vision, hallelujah, of the world, here's what we can do. We can adequately prepare to engage the world as followers of Christ. And glory to God, we're in this world, but we're not of this world. We're here to witness, 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 preach the gospel. Glory to God, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Paul says this in Romans 1, 16, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Glory to God, hallelujah. My faith is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. And I dare not trust the sweetest frame 
but only on Jesus' name, on Christ, on Christ, on Christ, on Mashiach, hallelujah, the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand, hallelujah. Your nights of heartache, saints, are coming to an end. Just trust God. He's going to bring you out. Glory to God, hallelujah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Mm. Hallelujah. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord lets up a standard against them. God is faithful. He's a sovereign God. For the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, for these light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them. For the Apostle Paul says this on the wise in 2 Corinthians, hallelujah, 4 and 8 says this, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We're perplexed, saints, but we're not in despair. How to persecuted, but we're not, hallelujah, forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Glory to God. May God bless you. May God keep you. May his face shine upon you and give you just peace. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I have a prayer request. I want to pray for a few people today. First of all, I want to pray for our church members, uh, those that have been with us. Those that continue to support the ministry, we thank you for that. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak a special blessing and direction on the life of Brother, Brother Troy. Lord, just everyone just raise your hand toward your screen there. Father God, in the name of Yeshua, Hamashi, we lift up Brother Troy to you right now. We just thank you that you continue to just speak to his heart, speak to his mind. Let him be open to your word and glory to God. Hallelujah. Saving his soul. Water baptized in Yeshua's name. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Lord, just fill him up. Fill him up with the gift of the Holy Spirit. The very essence of you that you put in the cheapest of containers. Bless him. Keep him. Continue to provide for him and his family in the name of Yeshua. I lift, I lift up uh, um, Sharon J to you. I thank you for complete divine, angelic host deliverance against demonic spirits trying to attack her mind. Glory to God. We cast down all imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Adonai. No weapon formed against her shall prosper. Glory to God. Lord, we say thank you for deliverance. Thank you for your blood. We decree and declare right now, dispatch angels around her right now. Give her the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you for saving of her soul. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And I continue to pray for you. I continue to solicit your prayers. In the name of Yeshua. I want to leave this with you. If you have not done this already. Please go over to YouTube. And subscribe to our channel. Under the same name. New Beginnings. New Beginnings. Apostolic Community Church. We understand that everyone is not on Facebook, so we're building our, up subscribers in order to, to, we can go live on Sundays on YouTube. Please share. Please subscribe, please. We thank you for your fellowship today. We appreciate your support and how God is moving magnificently in our lives in this ministry. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face to you and give you peace. Everyone repeat after me. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer and what I say to one, I say to all, watch, fast, and pray and be a great witness for our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Be blessed in Yeshua's name. Amen.